Hey everyone, this is Sally May with Swift Creek Customs and I had a question on the group on how to create a design. Once they described how the design was created in previous software, I was able to recreate that here. So this is going to be a graphic image with a offset cutout behind it. I'm going to come over to a new design tab, come up to file open to open my graphic and I'm simply going to select this graphic. I will link these files in the description below in case anybody wants to use them. I'm going to choose 300 dpi and choose next. And then I'm going to choose next as well. And it's going to trace around my image. And then I'm going to choose next. And you can set your cut contour here. I noticed when I increased mine, I got some stray cut lines that showed up in here. So I'm simply going to leave this as zero right now. And then I'm going to choose finished. And then I'm going to size this down. I'll keep it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to come over to my artboard and change my page marks out so that they'll just be on the edges of the page. So currently, if I view this under the layers panel, this is made up of, it is a PNG and it has cut lines around it. So if I come up to send design, send, it's going to have the artwork printed and then the cut contour around it. I wanna to add to that. So I'm going to first make an offset here. So I'm going to build contours and then I can adjust my contour out as far as I'd like it to go. Choose apply. And then what I wanna do is I wanna make a copy of this. So I'm going to control C, control V, that paste another one right in front. And I want to right click and choose mirror horizontal, uh, mirror vertical. And then I can move that up as far as I'd like it to go. If I'm outside the bounds, it's going to notify me. So we'll just make it in here. And then to connect those two, I'm going to simply just draw a shape. Now you can see over here, I have a kiss cut group here. I'm going to select this kiss cut group and ungroup. And now I have my graphic artwork and I have my cut contour. I wanna do the same thing for the second set, ungroup. And then I want to select my cut contour, hold my alt uh, control key down, select the other cut contour and the square. Then I can right click, choose paths and weld. Now it shows it in front. I'm just gonna right click on it and choose order and send back. And now I have the order for my offset around my printed shape. You wanna come in here, currently there is no designation for the gray border. It's currently set as print. So I want to choose cut, cut tool. And so if you are printing this and you have a white border or whatever color of material that you're um, printing it on, it's going to be that outer edge there. So if it's white, you can simply move to the next step. Send design. Now I have my printed artwork and I have my cut contour. I'm gonna come back here to the, back to the design. Now, if you wanted it to be filled with a color for this offset, you would want to change this to a default print and then you would build the contour around that shape. So if I build the contour, print and cut, click apply. Now I have that cut, kiss cut group around it again. Right click, choose order, send to back. And when I come over here to send design, now it's going to show up as gray or whatever color you choose. Click send. So now my printed artwork shows with a color as that background and I still have my cut contour. So hopefully those tips has helped to be able to create projects that are mirrored Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.